Ah uh, yeah! Merka! Merka! Yas, look at you turning in, yas. We're here for the uh, Bud Light Strawberry Arita, really. Yep, I'm, I'm more of a lime guy myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, like, you gave 90 12 year olds in America yeah. a beer. Yeah. Oh my god, it would be, it would be mayhem. The squad in the building. French girls, chat. <laughs> What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. Scott Beer Cole, beer enthusiast here. And we are going to Vermont. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Y'all are brewheads? Yeah, we brewheads. So pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. Yeah. This is our first uh, beer trip since the Detroit in April 2012, mostly because my immigrant ass wasn't able to leave the country. Now, I'm good to go. Our good friends of the Canadian government have blessed me with the ability to travel America. and come back. Now we're going to America. So we hit up uh, Cafe Plume, as we always do. First stop is idle time. So actually we have, I probably didn't even preface it, we're not just going to Vermont. We have three days or four days full of uh, brewery extravaganza. We're linking with, so we have six um, podcasts set up. So Whoa. today, I know, right? Sick. And um, we're going first to idle time, which is in Stowe. Literally around the corner from our good friends at Alchemist, and then uh, we're down. We're going down to see the homie Giles in Warren, Vermont. Uh, he has a beer bar. I don't remember the name of the bar, unfortunately, but uh, we'll find out soon. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Vermont, bitches! Woo! Merka! Merka! Fuck yeah! Ah uh, yeah! Merka! Merka! So we made it to Vermont. Do you um, feel different? I feel different. I feel, I feel like <laughs> more American y. Do you feel American? Yeah. I feel like I want a cheeseburger and some Doritos yeah. and like some heady chocolate. And some delicious craft beer. Yes, we do. So uh, we're. It's so uh, pretty here. It's like. It's really nice. It's a ton of snow and the trees look pretty. I feel like Vermont. Tell me about this place, yo. It's, uh, it's very, very nice. It's wicked. Yeah. So we're headed still to Idle Time. We're making good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so we uh, had to stop off at a Walmart here in America because somebody forgot the tripod. So we're basically uh, gonna pick this up now. I've always wanted to go to one of these American Walmarts. Might have some guns and crazy shit here. That was really easy. Great solutions, You're guys. Easy. You're easy. Thanks. Walmart always wins. So now we're off to idle time. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we just finished a super dope podcast uh, with Will from Idle Time out right here in Stowe, Vermont. Right there. Snow. Point to it. Point to snow. it. Yeah, it's snow. snow. <laughs> you throw snow. Yeah, snow. You fucking crazy bastard. So um, right now we about to roll past the Alchemist. I'm excited, it's honestly. So more for the beer. I love this place. I know it's awesome. This place was awesome, though. Great, this was lit. a great lineup of beers. Loggers and ales. Will was awesome. Josh, awesome experience. And of course, Josh knows Giles, who we're going of to course. meet right of after course. this. Of course, because everybody knows, knows everyone Giles. in the beer scene. Uh, it's a Giles, beautiful thing. Giles specifically. Exactly. So it seems to be the way. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go check out Alchemist, then head down to Warren to see Giles. Uh, there it is. Yo. Yo! Looks like a church of Doesn't beer. Doesn't it? It's a church of beer. Yas, look at you turning in, yas. <laughs> so we out here. Look, I'm beer. Oh, Pappy's Porter, Hellbrook American <laughs> Red Ale. <Available> today. <laughs> this is a motherfucking problem. This is a motherfucking oh problem. God, I smell it now. Victory, Victory beer. Cheers, bro. This is uh, Haiti Sapa, directly from the uh, from the source. Look at that! I love it. Oh. 
So this is Hostel to Vare. Like French girls, <laughs> so we had a fantastic evening with uh, Giles at uh, the ho Man. Hostel to Tavare. Oh, Giles is a Giles is, is just a, 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 a G with a capital G. So it's like a gangster with a capital G. Beers on beers on beers, some of the best stuff in the world. Yo, Giles gave us the trillium. And Dave got, yes. The burgers? Man. Yo. Like we're talking beef from down the road. Organic, grass-fed, slaughtered three days before, served medium rare with some pickles and some sauce. Stop it, man! That was insane. The burger was good. The was beer it? was even better. He really treated us. Yo, nicely. I'm so grateful. That thank was you, Giles. yeah, man. Thank you so much. Such a kind guy, man. Like linked us with a bunch of Trillium, which we'd been talking about like nonstop forever. It was like all these, we got some feet, like these mythical beers we've only heard of and never seen. And he's like, oh yeah, here have this have. Like it was have nothing. Pow pow, have like what? Like I mean, it was nothing to him. It was just really, really cool, and we stayed there a lot longer than probably we thought we were gonna stay there. So we yeah. just got back. It's about midnight now, so we got back to the telly. It's an early morning tomorrow, but oh, kind of hungry. Tonight it's gonna be me and Craig in this bed, and Tiffany gets her own bed yes, tonight. So mm -hmm. The princess. She gets her own thing. Uh, yo, really good first day though. Uh, Idle time was lit, and then Giles was lit, and Alchemist was lit, and now Burlington. And Will lit. Gilson was a fantastic fellow. Yeah, as well. man, what a just, G. Just man, just real good start to the trip. Beer people are just always, always sick. It's been really fun. Tomorrow we're off to Fiddlehead. Farmhouse Tap and Grill, and we're linking. <laughs> <laughs> just exhausted tomorrow's talking busy, about that. That's funny. Tomorrow's the busy day. Today yeah. seems so intense, but tomorrow's the big one. Yeah, Fiddlehead, we have Farmhouse Tap and Grill and Jason, which is, who is the manager of uh, Beverage Warehouse out there in Winooski, cool. which isn't too far from here. So a nice, uh, nice good day. Going to link with our homie Robert in the morning, which will vlog, and we're going to do a bit of a trade. We got him some nice beers from Montreal. He's going to hook us up with some uh, Burlington Beer Co. stuff and some other business. So let's, uh, let's get our pizza on and uh, get the F to bed so we can be ready for tomorrow. And in the words of Jonathan Emil, yes. get it inside of you! Well, what's good, y'all? Second day. We are here. I don't know if you can really see this view. I'll do a separate thing of it. We're looking at Lake Champlain and the mountains. I don't know what they're called. I forgot. Oh, Aaron Duran Axel or something. Duran, some weird way like that. But yo, last night was pretty fire. Two great podcasts. Giles got us fucked up. We're about to go for breakfast. It's super early. It's like 9.30. We've been on for a minute. This is unlike us. So we're gonna go get some breakfast, we're gonna meet the homie Robert, do a quick trade, and then we're off to Fiddlehead. Good start to the day. So I got, dude, I threw this in too. I threw in, uh, that's, that's the, that's the uh, homebrew. So drink that, so drink that tonight, and then you guys can, and then you can take it and fill it back up at, uh, at Hill Farm, yeah, because they don't, I think they only fill up their own, uh, their own stuff. I don't know if they change it or not. Enjoy New York. Bye. Yeah. So that was probably one of the best podcasts we've ever wow. done, ever. Um, Matt intense. is one of the most generous people. As you can see, I'm carrying a case of second fiddle. I was oh, going to ask oh. if I could buy four. Oh, oh. and a lupulin powder. Lupulin powder. <laughs> and experimental palate hops. Experimental hops. And, and a couple glassware. glasses to boot. Thank you, Matt. You're a legend. <sighs> Guys, uh, this is why we love beer. Not because people give a shit. Give us stuff, <laughs> as opposed to caring. But like, it's just like that sort of like the passion that uh, people have for it. He understood that we appreciate what he does and we appreciate his product and he was very willing to share with us 
verbally and just by giving us cool stuff that we like. And this was honest and no like exaggeration. Like this is pretty much like heady level good. Oh yeah, crazy. Like insane. So yeah, that was phenomenal. Fiddlehead yeah. is the shit. Killing Please it. go and visit them. You tell them we sent you. You probably won't have to hope, well, if you get in early enough, you won't have to line up for this beer, but if you had to line up for this beer, it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. Um, we're off to Farmhouse Tap and Grill, and uh, we'll check in from there. So we just uh, just lamped with uh, Justin here at Farmhouse. Dope spot. Had our first Hill Farmstead. Oh my god. Double Galaxy uh, IPA, fruity, hazy. Crazy. Stunning. Disgusting. Stunning. I like oh, that. You like that one? Yeah. Creamy. And, uh, creamy. And Justin la laced us. He laced us. Blessed us. Blessed us like Khaled. He gave us some uh, treehouse. So a Julius and a Haze, I believe. Damn. So this trip, we got to have Hill Farmstead. We got to, now we got Treehouse, and we had Trillium last night. And Lawson's. And Lawson's. And, and Fiddlehead, Fiddlehead out the ass. So. And Alchemist, you know, and just Alchemist. throw Alchemist in there. Right. So we got basically any every uh, like bucket list beer that we wanted in 24 hours. 24 <laughs> hours. Mind blasting. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So you know, we've we've been really really uh, blessed this. Uh, so far. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. Yeah. It's about to get realer. What are we doing now? I guess we need some food. I'm starving. We'll, yeah. yeah, I'm starving too. And then we'll link up with uh, Jason from Beverage Warehouse and uh, continue on the festivities. Let's do this. Blah. Blah. So we uh, we linked with Jason at the, at the telly. He was extremely generous, just like everybody in this city is. And uh, he hooked us up with like a dozen beers. We drank about five of them during the podcast, so we got a bunch to bring back. And um, we're gonna visit him tomorrow. We're gonna go see Beverage him tomorrow, Warehouse. and just go for a run through through the store, and hopefully pick up some uh, and actually purchase this time some uh, some beers from Hill Farmstead and Alchemist all and Lawson's stuff for and all our that. Friends back at home tomorrow. We got Magic Hat. We got Magic Hat. We got Beverage Warehouse Part Two. So it's gonna be actually a really good day. Uh, and then we'll probably. Uh, Head back to NTO. It's popping out here. There's a bunch yeah. of uh, bunch of folks out here while in college town. Everyone getting their crunk on. That's Lots it. Of focal bangers and focal bangers and headies everywhere. Yeah. People just like taking it for granted. But I love it. It's what it's all about. All right, y'all. Last morning we dipping from out the telly. I don't think we checked in yesterday. The view is uh, lovely. View? Yo, oh. it's a much warmer day today. The snow's melting. I can't remember when we checked in last. No, we went did dinner and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yesterday was super cool. We got a magic hat, which is dope. And then we're gonna go check in with Jason at Bedridge Warehouse to do a little bit extra things there. And we're gonna dip back to Montreal tonight. And uh, we have enough beer, I think. For a lifetime? If I, let me just bring that down right there. So we kind of did okay. And we still haven't been to Beverage Warehouse yet. Uh oh. Give so problem. we're gonna make uh, the 48 hour limit, so we should be fine. So I right, jump, check in at brunch. Alright, y'all, just uh, touched down here at Beverage Warehouse. Winooski. Where's that sign? There it is. 1400 beers, Scott Alexander Call. So you waited in line right here. Right here. Scott waited in line, got our first letter heady. This guy. This guy. But we're here for the uh, Bud Light Strawberry Arita, really. Yep. I'm, I'm more of a lime guy myself. <laughs> uh, I heard they have a mango, so. Ooh, um, I love mango. You know, Anheuser Busch, like, if you've got, you know, you want to jump on the podcast, fuck off, really. <laughs> so, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Strawberry Oh wow. I know. So we're just going to talk in front of this strawberry Arita. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Woo! <laughs> Uh, we just dipped out of uh, Beverage Warehouse. We have a trunk full of beer, well under the legal limit to bring across the border for the time that we were in the United States. So we go, we picked up uh, a bunch Crazy of stuff. stuff, man. Like, yeah, just good. sitting there unassumingly on the shelf. Got some more heady to give to some friends. Sip of sunshine. Uh, sip of sunshine. Lots of giveaways, but lots for myself as well. Yes. Yeah, we got some uh, some cool stuff. We uh, some nitro bottles, which we don't yes. really get. Uh, I got like five. Home. 
Yeah, so it's the I red. Got, I got two. Yeah, like, double. Excited there was a, double. what was the red velvet? What was that by again? Was that Ballast Point? Yeah, no, I think so. Colored with beets. I'm not a beet fan. I love beets. But I love, I think Nitro is, I love the flavor, I love the texture, and I, um, I love the idea of that pool, the violent pool. And we just don't have, I, there's, a, there's a few in Canada, but there's not a ton, so it's cool to, to grab that. And they got the left hand uh, Nitro Stout, which I've been wanting for a long time, so I'm excited for that. What up, y'all? So we just got back to Montreal, had some time to freshen up, separate all the beers and shit, so uh, it was a good trip. I'm tired. Yeah, it went pretty wrecked. It's been a long day. Popped a little hassle at the border, but... Uh... Oh, yeah, good point. Yes, we um, we had them go through our, uh, the trunk of the car, checking we out the, the beers, receipts but and stuff, we had the receipts. It's only fair enough when you're like, yeah, about 100 and whatever plus beers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we have about 120 beers. <laughs> so, Ish. and you're like, oh, please pull over to yeah. spot number one. Pull over, sir. Yeah. But they were pretty cool. Uh, we had all the receipts, like we said, so we had no issues in the end. Didn't have to pay any tax because we were, I think, within our limit for the time limit. So it worked out well. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, really, really sick trip. We knocked off a whole bunch of bucket list beers and breweries at the very least. Met some super cool people. Um, discovered a whole bunch of new stuff that we didn't even know existed that now next time we go, we're gonna have to follow up on them. We will be back. We'll be back. Hopefully Shout out sooner rather than later. Oh, most definitely. It's like seriously an hour and a half away. It's really no point. So you're looking very smiley. Gonna happen. Oh, I like your attitude. I like your attitude a <laughs> lot. Um, Shout out to everybody who we linked up with, uh, who we met, who were extremely generous to us giving us beers out the ass and taking care of us and putting some touch with people. people in Vermont. So cool, man. Such a cool place. That's pretty much it for this vlog. And, uh... Get it inside of you! Blech!